Again, before we begin this evening's Mass, uh, I'm, uh, for those who don't know, I'm Father Anthony Bush, I'm the pastor here at St. Stanislaus Kostka. I know many of our people are here, and I welcome all those who uh, perhaps don't belong to the parish, although we're here for Chicago, the doors are open 24-7, literally, any day, any night, the doors are open for, for prayer. So uh, we happen to be uh, we're very happy this evening to have you here and to uh, uh, welcome a Veritas Bonitas uh, Ultritas Truth, Good, Good and Beauty, uh, this organization that has uh, made this possible. It's a lay apostolate that brings the traditional Latin Mass to the various uh, beautiful parishes and chapels and shrines around the Archdiocese of Chicago. We're extremely happy to have Father uh, Charles Finelli who's uh, well-known uh, throughout the Archdiocese and, and deeply uh, respected, a holy man. We're very happy to have him here at St. Stanislaus Kostka, this sanctuary of the uh, Divine Mercy. Uh, we're, the, the parish is celebrating its Jubilee year, so this is our 150th uh, Jubilee year. This is perhaps the first um, uh, Mass of the ancient uh, Roman Rite uh, celebrated here perhaps since uh, the late 1960s. So doing this, uh, having this uh, Mass celebrated during the Jubilee year is uh, uh, a great blessing uh, to us uh, to be able to enter into the, uh, the, the sacred liturgy, the sacred mysteries in the, in the way that our ancestors did certainly from the time uh, that the parish was founded 150 years ago, but uh, going back, you know, many, many, many centuries uh, to the beginning. The, uh, so, so I welcome all of you. Uh, we're extremely happy to have you here uh, this evening. Just a few um, points uh, to, uh, to make. Uh, for many, this may be the very first experience of uh, uh, of the extraordinary form of the Mass, the Roman Rite. Uh, you'll have uh, missalettes in English as well as in Spanish. Uh, I believe in, in Polish as well. We've prepared something. I ask that you return those at the end of the Mass, if they be returned. If they do not take those home. This belongs to the uh, Veritas Bonitas. Uh, uh, I'll come back to that in a moment. Also, uh, the norm for receiving Holy Communion, Holy Communion in this Venerable Rite uh, is in the posture of, of kneeling and receiving Holy Communion on the tongue. If you cannot kneel, uh, you will come to the center of the Communion Rel and stand and receive the Holy Eucharist on the tongue. There will not be communion in the hand this evening. Uh, lastly, uh, you do not say Amen after receiving communion since the priest prays and says this before placing on to your tongue. Uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you to beg your, your patience with me this evening because uh, I'll be reading the, uh, in, in the Latin the, uh, the, uh, the, the prayer as you receive communion, so uh, I need your patience. Also, the bread that they brought is a little bit big for me, so it's going to look a little bit awkward, but I'm looking forward to it nonetheless. So, um, the other thing is there's, there's, there's no applause. This is going to be a very beautiful uh, experience, a very sacred, beautiful experience. Uh, Although we don't do that in our parish here, but many people in many parishes uh, have developed a, a tradition of applauding. We don't, we don't do that here, and there will be no applause at the conclusion of the Mass, where we, we come in absolute gratitude and thanksgiving to adore Almighty God, uh, to a, we come for the atonement, we come, as I say, in thanksgiving and in a spirit of petition. Our participation is the offering 
as, as in any Mass, the proper participation is that we're offering our lives uh, through Christ to the Father. Uh, after the Mass, there will be the, the opportunity to, uh, to venerate uh, a first-class relic of St. Stanislaus Kostka. Uh, this will take place uh, again here at the front. Uh, this will be at the end, or at the ap- after the, the Mass is, 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 has ended. Uh, and then after that, everybody will be invited to the cafeteria to meet with, uh, with Father Charles Finelli, who will speak about the extraordinary form of the Roman Rite. So uh, we encourage everybody, uh, and there will be some refreshments there as well. I, I will not be going over there at the end of the Mass for reasons, but um, I, I'm here with you. I'm happy to have you here. This is a blessing for us. It's a blessing to have you here with us. Uh, again, uh, with regards to the Missalettes, uh, use them, uh, read the rich and deep prayers, and, and as you follow along the prayers that are being prayed during the sacred mass, the sacred liturgy, uh, but don't feel compelled to follow along word for word. Uh, instead, as we do, as we should be doing at all masses, we place ourselves mystically at the foot of the cross at Calvary alongside the Virgin Most Pure, the Mother Mary, or the Blessed Virgin Mary, or Saint John, and the whole great cloud of witnesses in, in heaven and in purgatory. Um, as the as Seraphic Father Saint Francis of Assisi said, at the holy sacrifice of the Mass, let the whole world tremble, let all men be seized with fear. Let all of heaven exalt with Christ, the Son of the living God, who appears on the altar in the hands of the priest. And then also, finally, there will be a second collection, and that second collection will assist uh, the, uh, the work of Veritas, Bonitas, Pulcritas, uh, the lay apostolate that brings us the traditional Latin Mass bringing to us and to other places uh, in the Archdiocese and beyond. So the second collection will be for uh, for them. Uh, just unas, unas palabras en español, muy brevemente, que nosotros estamos aquí, bienvenido a todos. Uh, es, um, estamos hoy también celebrando la fiesta de San Estanas la Posca, uh, un punto importante es que durante uh, la, uh, cuando estamos comulgando lo vamos a recibir la Santa Eucaristía en la mano solamente con la boca y no es necesario de responder con un amén porque el sacerdote va a hacer esto todos van a educarse si se lo puede entonces puede pararse aquí en el centro, pero al mismo tiempo comulgando en la lengua. No hay aplauso después de la misa, hay oportunidad de venerar ¿no? el, 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 el religioso de San Estado de Posca. Hay mis el, uh, libritos que ya tienen en español, se puede seguir la Santa Misa con el librito, pero lo importante como nosotros sabemos es nuestra participación, es el ofrecimiento de la vida al Señor, a Cristo por Cristo, a nuestro Padre que está en el cielo. Después de la misa, los libritos deben dejar aquí porque pertenecen al grupo Veritas Bonitas Pucritas el grupo que está ofreciendo este Santa Misa. Tenemos aquí el Padre uh, Carlos Fanelli, muy popular en la arquidiócesis. Y también, um, pues yo pienso que es todo. La segunda colecta es para este, este grupo, uh, para ayudarles 
en su eh, para, para el largo en, en, en su apostolado es un apostolado laico uh, llevando la, la misa en latín uh, uh, por toda la arquidiócesis y, y más allá entonces en este momento uh, Beata va a brevemente traducir todo en, en polaco Bienvenido a todos. W imieniu księdza proboszcza Antoniego Boś witam wszystkich serdecznie na tej uroczystej mszy świętej, która odbędzie się w języku łacińskim, w rycie rzymskim. Ta msza odbywa się z okazji święta świętego Stanisława Kostki oraz w roku, gdy obchodzimy 150-lecie naszej parafii. Msza święta zostanie odprawiona przez księdza Charles Fanelli, który przybył tutaj wraz z grupą Veritas Bonitas Polsitas Chicago. To jest grupa, która przy, przychodzi do różnych y, kościołów i kaplic i przybliża nam tą mszę świętą w rycie rzymskim. Parę szczegółów y, odnośnie tej mszy. Y, msza święta, która będzie odprawiana w języku łacińskim, Państwo dostali książeczki, y, żeby ułatwić y, uczestnictwo w tej mszy świętej. Prosimy o oddanie tych, y, tych broszurek po, pod koniec mszy świętej w zestawieniu z tego kościoła. Msza, komunia święta będzie udzielana na pozycji klęczącej i będzie to komunia święta udzielana, nie będzie udzielana na rękę, tylko, tylko na język. Jeżeli ktoś nie może klęczeć, prosimy o podejście w, tutaj w, przed, przed ołtarzem i przyjęcie komunii świętej w pozycji stojącej. Po, po mszy świętej będzie można adorować relikwie świętego Stanisława Kostki. Również po zakończeniu mszy świętej zapraszamy wszystkich serdecznie do szkolnej stołówki na skromny poczęstunek, gdzie ksiądz Charles Connelly również wyjaśni nam historię i tradycję tej mszy świętej. Czyli serdecznie zapraszamy do uczestnictwa. A jeszcze jedna informacja, że druga kolekta dzisiaj zebrana jest właśnie, żeby wspierać tą grupę Veritas Bonnie dla Spójcia z Chicago, żeby mogła dalej propagować tą mszę świętą również w innych parafiach. Serdecznie dziękuję za uwagę.
Epistle today is taken in the book of wisdom. The just man, if he be prevented 
that he be prevented with death shall be in peace, shall be in rest. For venerable age is not that of long time, nor counted by the mem- number of years. But the understanding of a man is gray hairs, and a spotless life is old age. He pleased God and was beloved, and living among sinners he was translated. He was taken away, lest wickedness should alter his understanding, or deceit beguile his soul. For the bewitching of vanity obscureth good things, and the wandering of concupiscence overturneth the innocent mind. Being made perfect in a short time, he fulfilled a long time, for his soul pleased God. Therefore he has hastened to bring him out of the midst of iniquities. But the people see this and understand not, nor they lay up such things in their hearts, that the grace of God and his mercy is is with his saints, and that he has respect to his chosen. Now the Holy Gospel, taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew. At that time, little children were presented to Jesus that he should impose his hands upon them and pray. And the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said to them, Suffer the little children and forbid them not to come to me. For the kingdom of heaven is for such. And when he imposed hands upon them, he departed from thence. And behold, one came to him and said to him, Good master, what good shall I do that I may have life everlasting? Who then said to him, Why askest askest thou me concerning good? One is good, God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. He said to him, Which? And Jesus said, thou shalt, not do no, thou, thou shalt not do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man saith to him, all these things I have kept from my youth, what is wanting to me? Jesus said to him, if thou be perfect, go sell what you what, what thou hast and give to the poor and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come follow me and thus the reading of the gospel praise to you Lord Jesus Christ well our intentions of this mass are for J- J- Jacob Klepach and Elmer Lewandowski and all the intentions submitted to the social media and especially Facebook. And I want to welcome all of you to offer your prayers as well at this Mass. All are welcome to the reception in the school cafeteria after Mass and they will have, before that, we'll have the veneration of the relic of St. Stanislaus Kaska for all of you to venerate if you wish. We also want to invite you to the next VVP Chicago Mass, which will be at 6 a.m., the Rorate Mass at at St. Mary Perpetual Help in Bridgeport. And finally, a very happy Thanksgiving to all of you. We truly have much to be thankful for, don't we, my brothers and sisters? Especially those of you who are parishioners of St. Stanislaus Koska in this 150th anniversary, we thank God for this great man who is your patron saint. As a small child, he already learned to pray and give himself to God.
He grew in what we know now as, in Opus Dei, say, the presence of God. The presence of God. Talking to God all day long. Using aspirations and thoughts to keep contact with, 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 with God throughout the day. This is what St. Stanislaus did ever since he was a child. He was always talking to God. Always talking to God. And what was the result of this talking to God? And when he had to face beatings and persecution, what did he do? He bore it without a, without a word, didn't he? St. Stanislaus endured all kinds of sufferings, but without ever mouthing a word of complaint. That's what God did for him, huh? Because he kept contact with God, and God rewarded him. Moreover, he was always meek and humble. Very difficult. You know that, don't you? It's hard to be humble, isn't it? We're all overcome with pride everywhere. We think we're best. We're number one, huh? But not Stan Stanislaus. He was a meek and humble man. So when he joined the religious order, they, 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 his fellow monks said, my goodness, where did this man get this meekness, this humility? They were amazed at him. He slept little, but he stayed up, often with our Eucharistic Jesus. He never left for any appointment without stopping in the church and saying hello to Jesus. That's how much Jesus was in his heart and his soul because of his presence of God. He did so much. And finally he prepared the day before he was to receive Holy Communion. You know, in those days they didn't receive communion every day, did they? But he prepared the day before so that on the day of communion he was ready to receive our blessed Lord. Sometimes we're so distracted, are we not? Sometimes we're so distracted even walking down the communion line. We're thinking about everything else. Huh? Now what would happen if we learned the presence of God? Huh? What would happen? Well, maybe God would make us meek and humble. Wouldn't that be something? Get rid of all my pride? Oh, that would be terrific, wouldn't it? Maybe some of this charity would rub off on me. They say that heaven is only love. That's all it is. Heaven is only love. God is love, says Jesus. God is love. He says only love in heaven, and so we want to be able to love like Jesus did, huh? Love without without holding back. Well, if we had presence of God, we could have a relationship with all three persons of the Blessed Trinity. Yes, we know the Father who made everything. Yes, we know Jesus. But sometimes the Holy Spirit gets lost. But having presence of God, I can have a relationship with all three persons of the Blessed Trinity. And with all the saints, too. I could become a real good friend of the Virgin Mary, St. Joseph, and of course St. Stanislaus. How beautiful, my brothers and sisters. And how happy would God be huh? if all of us thought about him all day long. 
little aspirations, little prayers, little things to keep in mind, even more in the situations, huh? How good it is, huh? Mary was so happy, huh? When she could be able, was able to say to, to the waiters, do whatever he tells you. That's the joy of heaven, huh? Helping each other. Helping each other. And so, brothers and sisters, don't want to follow the way of St. Saint, Stanislaus. Having the presence of God allowed him to grow in grace and earn heaven. Huh? And if we work, and if we work ourselves for this virtue, cannot we also gain heaven ourselves? Let's ask our blessed Lord to help us. Huh? And as we read the gospel today, God bless the children who are crying out, huh? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
you.